Early on the third day, His Holiness the Pope was to pilgrimage to the holy shrines of the Uganda martyrs. It was early in the morning and a good number of Ugandans awaited. Many had set on this pilgrim walk the day and night before, so that they could be in time and secure a vantage viewing point. However, that Sunday morning, thousands were still making their entrance into the gates at Namugong. The first stop for the pontiff was to be the Church of Uganda Martyrs Shrine at Nachiyanga. Awaiting him was the head of the Church of Uganda, His Grace the Archbishop, Dr. Yona Okoth, and the Dean of the Province of the Church, Bishop Ruhindi. The pontiff set off from his residence, the Apostolic Nunciature, at 8.30 that sunny morning, driving through the crowd-thronged Kireka Township at a leisurely speed on his way to the Holy Shrines, waving at the welcoming crowds. Half an hour later, he arrived at the Church of Uganda Martyrs Shrine. The Chief of Protocol introduced the Pontiff to His Grace the Archbishop, who then introduced the Head of the Orthodox Church, Bishop Theodoro Nanchama, the Dean of the Province, Bishop Rehindi, Bishop Kauma of Namirembe Diocese, and other clergy. Later, the Sabataka of Buganda, Ronald Mwenda Mutebi, was introduced. He also met Church of Uganda bishops and leaders of Christian denominations. This holy sanctuary is where the relics of 22 martyrs lie. It was Pope John VI who raised these sons of Uganda to the glory of the altars for their faith in Christianity. The pontiff entered and meditated for a while. He had come to pay homage. Then His Grace the Archbishop gave background information on how these young Christians came to be martyred during the advent of Christianity into Buganda. Your Holiness, there were many growing pains to survive through. The most painful of these was when King, King Mwanga, the son and the successor of Mutesa I, ordered his chief executor, Makaja, Mukajanga to burn the dead 22 young Christians right here at Namugongo on the 3rd June 1886. Anglican Christians and the Roman Catholic Christians made their dead here united in Christ and they now live in the eternal unity with the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit in the eternal kingdom of God. <laughs> this place, Namugongo, is one of the greatest centers of Christianity. 
where the seed of the church was planted and then spread it to other areas. There is another center near Kampala called Busega Matters Church, where three young people were martyred for Jesus Christ on the 31st January 1885. Their names were Noah Serwanga, Marco Kakumba, and Yusuf Lugarama. There are also other martyrs of Uganda who were killed at a difficult time and places. All these people died for their faith in Jesus Christ. The time should come, and I think it is here, when the Christian church together should recognize them and canonize them in the unity as a Christian holy matters and saints. Out of this place gives the encouragement to Uganda Joint Christian Council, of which the Anglican Church, the Roman Catholic Church, and the Orthodox Church in this country are for founder members. <laughs> and then the Holy Father spoke of ecumenism.
The pontiff's entourage then left for the Catholic Martyrs' Shrine to pay homage and to celebrate Holy Mass with the assembled congregation.